All right, let's talk about it with uh, Steve Moore. The, the Freedom Works economist joins us. Steve, always good to see you. What do you, uh, what do you take away from this? As Edward said, it's not a ton of workers coming back, but just the idea that some of the big Wall Street firms led by J.P. Morgan will be back in person. How important? Well, look, I, I agree with what you just heard from Larry Kudlow. This has been a pretty amazing uh, recovery in the last four months. I don't think anybody would have expected it. Certainly, the official forecasters and all the economists thought the economy would be in much worse place than it is right now. Uh, but it's also true that it gets tougher. You know, the first 10 million jobs back uh, happened pretty quickly, but we have 10 million more to get back, and and that's going to be a bit more of a slog, I believe. But the direction is is positive, and, and I think that's going to be a real lift for Trump come November. There's a couple of things to take apart here. One that I'll pick up on is the knockoff, knockdown or knockoff effect or whatever you want to say of workers coming back and some of these white collar jobs, Wall Street and others. You know, there's an argument to be made that certainly some of these companies could be more efficient. We've heard it in technology by working from home that it, they save on costs and the like. But then you think about the real economy, Steve, you would know this better than me, that, the, you know, there's a bagel store near our building that, you, you know, it's going to get a lot more business if people are working, or the coffee shop guy, whatever the case may be, people going out to lunch. So the economic impact of having these people back in, in person, how important is that? You know, the economy is going to be perhaps permanently changed from what's happened in the last six months. I don't think there's any yeah. question about it. You know, we have all, uh, all, all of us, but many of us have learned how to work pretty efficiently uh, in our home offices. So that means, obviously, that the commercial, uh, especially the the uh, office space uh, rental market is going to be horrible, horrible for the next uh, at least couple of years, because I think you may see people saying, look, we don't need to have office spaces. We can have people working pretty efficiently from home. You know, how long will it take for the airline industry to get back. I was at the airport yesterday in Boston and in Washington, D.C. It was like a ghost town. There was nobody around. So how long will that take? Right. 18 months, perhaps, for people to get back to flying anywhere nor near the norm? So there are a lot of industries that are going to have to take a, a substantial reduction in employment as this kind of new economy emerges. But then you have these technology companies. I mean, why do you think NASDAQ has has uh, seen all-time highs. I know it's been on a downturn in the last couple of weeks, but still, these numbers are fantastic. Mm -hmm. So what you're seeing right now, Connell, is a, a readjustment of the economy towards the gig economy. I can't get out of my head, though, that we're having this conversation on September 11th, and, and maybe that kind of clouds it a little bit or has that thought. You know, we, all the, we did stories at the time about, hey, will New York ever bounce back? I, I, I remember being on Wall Street the day everybody went back to work after the attack, all those kinds of things. But I understand it's different now, and you're talking about the economy being, you know, transformed and, and shaped by the last six months. And, you know, people were saying that we, things would change then obviously they did, but economically we did bounce back. How do you compare the two times from an economic perspective? Well, the other thing is that's related to what you're talking about is the geographical shift that's going on. You may have seen the news that uh, a thousand people every day, every day, Connell, are moving into Florida right now. About 500 people every day yep. are moving into Texas. Where are they moving out of? They're moving out of Chicago. They're moving out of Minneapolis. They're moving out of New York City. Uh, cities have done severe damage to themselves by refusing to keep their streets safe uh, from, uh, from uh, crim criminal gangs and from rioters. And the other problem, of course, is that people are much more um, hesitant to want to live in very, you know, uh, population dense areas because people now are worried about what's the next pandemic? Will there be a second wave? So I just think, Connell, the way we live our lives and where we live mm -hmm. could be changed for the next five to 10 years, if not longer. Yeah, that could be the difference between now and then. Um, we're going to talk more about that, by the way, in a few minutes. It's always good to see you, Steve. Have a good weekend. Steve Moore.